But first, a major development in campaign 2010. Patrick Lynch is dropping out of the governor's race. I hereby announce that today I am withdrawing my name as a candidate for governor of the state of Rhode Island in this election cycle. I did not enter public service to become a footnote in history by injuring my party. The Attorney General made the announcement on his campaign website this afternoon, narrowing down the field of gubernatorial candidates to nine. Kenneth Block, Frank Caprio, Lincoln Chafee, Todd Giroux, Victor Moffat, John Robitaille, Ronald Algieri, Joseph Lucy, and Christopher Reynolds. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now in Providence, live outside the State House. Yes, Karen, and now there are nine, down from ten people running for governor in Rhode Island. Today, Attorney General Patrick Lynch jumped before he likely would have been pushed. A crowded field has been reduced by one. Saying he's acting in the interest of party unity, Attorney General Patrick Lynch chose to drop out of the Democratic primary for Rhode Island governor. Too often in election cycles, Rhode Islanders have gotten the wrong leadership because of divisive, costly primary battles, especially historically in the race for governor on the Democratic ticket. This cycle had the makings of the same result. Patrick Lynch's decision allows fellow Democrat Frank Caprio to focus on the general election starting right now. Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming says one of Patrick Lynch's biggest problems was an Eyewitness News poll showing him not on fire. In the polling, there was numbers showing him of double digits behind uh, Frank Caprio, but more importantly, in a general election, he was way behind Lincoln Chafee, and in some polls, actually running third behind the Republican. So it was showing the general public wasn't catching on to Patrick Lynch, and even if he got through a primary, it was going to be very difficult for a general election. Patrick Lynch isn't the first, but he is the latest in a long line of attorneys general to run for governor in Rhode Island and fail. Live at the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.